Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Glad to have you here. Click the subscribe button below, click like, click share, and let's get to it. Another movie review from the Brooklyn Bridge Park. And I am at Pier 3. And behind me, the sun just went down about 20 minutes ago. And behind me is the uh, Manhattan skyline. So I don't know if you can see the view, but the view is just absolutely stunning look at that wow oh my god isn't this gorgeous this is why i love coming here the the view of the manhattan skyline um so today i'm going to be reviewing the film jazz man's blues that premiered on netflix on friday september 23rd and it was directed by tyler perry the Jazz Man's Blues, in a nutshell, is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. You, I mean, Tyler Perry pretty much took the, um, the story of Romeo and Juliet and placed it in the country, in Georgia. And um, the, you know, most of the movie takes place between 1937 and 1947. So our star-crossed lovers in this film is Leanne and Bayou played by Soleil Pfeiffer and Joshua Boone. So uh, Leanne is a light-skinned um, black woman um, who can pass for a white woman. And Bayou is the son of a couple of blues musicians. So his mother is a blues singer and his father is a blues musician uh, who pretty much plays guitar. One day his parents get into a big fight and his father and brother decides to move to Chicago to see if they can find work as jazz, as blues musicians. But eventually, um, you know, that leaves with uh, Bayou with his mother. So at some point in the film, Bayou decides to join the military and when he comes back, um, he moves right back in with his mother and together they decide to open up a jute joint, which is something that his mother have has always wanted to do. Leanne and Bayou fall in love, and her mother pretty much breaks up the relationship because she wants to marry her daughter to a white guy um, so that they can continue to pass as white people. And later on in the film, they reunite, they fall in love again, and I won't give away the ending. But um, it, 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 is a, it is a sad ending. So this film kind of deals with the, the, the idea of passing for white folks. It deals with the terrible, harsh, racist climate in the South in the 30s and 40s. Um, there's a lot of different issues going on there. Um, you know, um, even though it's a very simple story, um, because like I said, it's basically a retelling of Romeo and Juliet, um, the characters are so complex and rich and multi-dimensional. Multi um, so, you know, there's the manager who is a Holocaust survivor, and he's cl he clearly has survivor's guilt. You have Bayou in love with this woman. You have Leanne who is in love with Bayou. Um, and she doesn't care about race. All she knows is that he's the only one she will ever love and she doesn't love her white husband. Um, then you have her mother and um, you're not sure if she is as evil as Leanne thinks she is or if she's just doing what she can to survive. Um, and then there's Bayou's brother and um, he has a heroin addiction. But at the end of the film, um, when he is in one of his moves where he's high and he just, you know, shot himself up, he confesses to Bayou what happened to their father. And so it's, it's that, um, so you realize that, you know, um, Willie is traumatized and that trauma led to his heroin addiction. Um, so yeah, these are just like, oh my, um, 
such great characterization. You know, um, Tyler Perry, he, this is his best film yet. It really is. This is by far his best film to date. And I'm not talking about, you know, in comparison to the films that he has done, the comedy films that he has done, in which he has played Medea. But it's in, but I'm comparing it to I Can Do Bad All By Myself, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Why Did I Get Married? Um, Tyler Perry doesn't star in this film, so he's just simply the writer, director, producer. But um, script wise, this is the best script Tyler Perry has ever wrote. And in terms of direction, this is the um, best film Tyler Perry has ever made. And uh, when I was watching the opening credits, I saw that the choreography was um, was done by Debbie Allen. Um, the music was composed by Terrence Blanchard. Um, I mentioned him in the Woman King movie review. So um, he composed uh, for the Woman King and he composed for Jazz Man's Blues. So clearly Tyler Perry, um, found some of the most talented people in the entertainment business to help him with this movie. And it shows. It really does. Um, the cinematography is beautiful. Costumes design, set design, very, very realistic. You know, I'm going to give this movie four out of five stars. Um, and so, yeah, like, if you have Netflix, please do yourself a favor and watch A Jazz Man's Blues. You will not regret it. Um, I cannot recommend this movie enough, you know, um, God, one of the best films of Tyler Perry's career, really it is. So take care everybody, <laughs> and have fun at the movies.